this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will see about active and making inactive links based on the route. So how we can achieve this in our next years? Let me show you the problem first. So whenever I'm in the dashboard, it is in green color. Whenever in about, it is in same gray color. And whenever I'm in products, it is same like gray color. That means based on the route, we don't have a specific color for that link. How we can achieve this? To achieve this, first thing, I need to have some set of classes. So already I have created a modular classes in my header.module.css that is active class and inactive class. So whenever the route matches, then it should be active. Whenever the route does not matches, it should be inactive. So in this case, this should be active when the route is having a dashboard URL. So let me remove this inline style. Now what I'll do is I'll use ternary operator to achieve this. Before that, I want to get the path from the URL. So how can I get that path? Actually speaking, Next.js has its own hook which will provide you that URL. For example, I can use something like const path is equal to, there is something called as use path name. So what this exactly gives? It gives you the URL which is not having a domain. That means after the domain, whatever the path you have, you will be getting it. And it does not include any hash URLs. So let me show you that console.log of path. But before that, if you are trying to use any of the hook, either from React or Next.js, then that particular component should be a client component. I have explained all about the client component in my previous video. Please watch that for better understanding. Now what I'll do is, I'll just go into the browser. You can see there is a failure that is build failure and it is expecting to use this directive. So let me go here and let me import or just use client here. Save this so that this component will become the client component. Now I have the access to my hook. And what is this path? Let me go here and let me inspect this. Now I'm inside the products hash sample. As I mentioned, it will not give hash URL, but it will give you the path name by excluding your domain. So this domain has been excluded and we are getting only the products. If I go into about, you can see you are getting about. If I go into products, you are getting products. If I go into dashboard, you will be getting a dashboard. That means if this particular path includes the dashboard, then dashboard should be active. If it includes the about, about should be active. If it includes the products, product should be active. So let me go here and do that. What I'll do is I'll not use the styles directly. Instead, I'll try to use based on my path. So what I'll do is I'll create const get active class and I'll use an arrow function which will return based on my condition whether it is true or false whether it is active or not so in that case what I'll do is path dot includes my value the value could be anything whether it is a dashboard whether it is a boat whether it is products it could be anything so what I'll do is I'll just use this include and I'll tell that whether it is active or not so based on that I'll return the value for that sake I'll not return the direct boolean value instead I'll return the class as an object so const is active is equal to I'll just return based on this activeness is active if it is active then I want to return styles dot active else I'll return styles dot inactive and this path should include with some input which is again a string type and I'll pass this input so now I'll call this method inside this class name by passing a value so what I'll do I'll just use something called as dashboard copy this class name put it over here and here along with the values 
so this is for about and this is for products so if this includes the product that should be active otherwise it should be inactive let me go here and you can see that is in red color and if I click on about about is in red color and remaining two are not in red color and they are in gray color let me hit this again if you go on to the top products is in red color so that is how you can use your active classes on a particular link by using class name and let me remove this console and save this so that's how you can manage your links or active links based on the selection and based on the URL so here to summarize we have used use path name which is given from next slash navigation and also we have used the client component here the client component is fine because everything is related to the UI part we are not doing anything more than that and we need this use path name so that's why we have to use use client so that's it for this video in the upcoming video we will see more about different types of navigations like nested routes and how to configure them by using links and also by using user interactions hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you